Are y'all ready to use the king's sacred legendary weapon as a poop shovel today? I can't wait till we start digging poop in the aqueduct with our new black blade. My man lives up to his name. He is simply parrying everything. We met some new characters. There is the blonde shield girl who is a little bit, you know, apprehensive of us, but she's just basically super, super strict and wants to make sure the royal family is, you know, getting protected. Then there is the spear guy, which I think he's already been dumpstered, so he should be respecting us. But aren't we gonna... Are, did, didn't we leave off with, like, us getting some kind of duel or some kind of spar with the blonde girl, right? Let's begin today's reaction. I can't remember if it was the spear guy. Oh, okay, so it was him that requested a duel. Spar. What'd he say? He's quite famous in the royal capital. Self-proclaimed or not? He can't use the big black blade? We're gonna humiliate this guy. I think this is gonna be just a one-sided humiliation. Like, he still- like, right, right, there's a lot of characters right now we're watching where they think they're weak. Osan Newbie Adventurer, recent episode is, now he realized that he's strong. This guy, though, is still very dense. He'll never realize that he's strong, right? He parries his own brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, and what about you? You're just dodging everything. Oh, he's going easy on me. Yeah, he's going easy on me. Ooh. Ooh, you say this shit to a guy that's actually trying hard. That is embarrassing. He is humiliating him without even aware that he's humiliating him. <laughs> he's also dense. He's wait, 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 wait. He literally rationed in his own head, huh? I guess I was taking it easy because he's a normal human. You right? <laughs> he dumb as fuck too. <laughs> and now he will try. Okay, okay. I guess he was going easy, yeah. Yeah, it's a test, bro. Every time we parry him, not parry, we dodge his ass, right? He dodges and he shows himself open. He's not even gonna hit now. Because he straight up thinks that it's a bait. No, he's testing me. He's not. He's intentionally leaving himself open. I cannot fall for it. Oh, it shifted! Oh, sweet! Yeah. Uh. Fellas, how many times are you making some love to a girl or a guy, doesn't matter, and they say, deeper, and you're like, I'm out of inches! What do you mean, deeper? I'm out! That's all I got! When you say go faster, I don't got no more faster! That's it! Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're getting it now, you're getting it now. Oh, shit, it's a name technique! Oh, he actually tried really hard there. Damn. What's more impressive, that move or the fact that he just dodged that shit? That was a name technique there. How the f- He's just training in the force for 14 years just does that to a man. <laughs> no, you dodged it, dude. What do you mean? How the fuck? You're gonna humiliate the opponent and say, I lost, I'm gone. I wonder how this guy feels right now. He must be so mesmerized, like what? Even my name technique didn't land, and he just walked away saying he lost? Is he going- is he being nice to me right now?
隊長のドラグバカなかわしただと先端が太い訓練用のやりだったからなくらおーポーリーズ So because it was like a practice tip The wind force was the thing that sent him to the side Which made it look like he dodged But if it was a real spirit he would have Come on we know it was the wind force I doubt Gilbert even believes that either One in a million? Nor is one in ten million then Okay, Gilbert backstory The Gilberts, man. Okay. What happened? Okay. Damn, they're building up Gilbert to be the kind of person to say, I wish to experience defeat. No one under the heavens is like even close to me. Right, uh, oh, okay, let's go back up. Last episode, there was some politics involved where the king, right, the assassination attempt was from like a neighboring mage empire, right? And they started to do that shit, so. Right now, it's our kingdom versus like the mage empire. He should be happy then, if he's been so devoid of challenge and felt so bored with his life, nor appearing and just like dodging everything should be the best thing to happen to him. <laughs> Was that the sword guy that trained Nor in episode 1 for a bit? He does seem familiar. He has the Sephiroth hairstyle. I think it is him, right? It's the same instructor? The Sovereign and the Spear. <laughs> so in this world, there's like people who excel in the, like a specific weapon and they're called the Sword Sovereign. He's the Spear Sovereign. Shield Sovereign. そうか。師匠くらいの実力のやつがもっといれば面白いのにな。それは面白そうだな。師匠も退屈なんじゃないか。自分のことを守る存在だ。私だけが強くても戦には勝てない。Nor might be able to win a war by himself. いつかね。俺が現役のうち先に退屈で死んじまうぜ。Okay, I mean we showed up. He should be happy. ミノタウルス。the wind forest man yeah. and then he admitted lost like imagine how you'd feel like are you fucking with me right now you're sandbagging are you smurfing are you trying to make me feel bad if a dude like this just shit on me without even trying and then said that he'd lost i would feel actually upset i get tilted i'm like are you trying to like disrespect me on top of this what a nice guy. Made him mad though. What is the significance of the ground here? These are the movements. The foot movements? This is the path that Nor took to dodge the super fast attack. I'm not sure. It's just him moving really fast. Full strength. Now the weapon is not the real weapon. But he did pull everything into it to the practice weapon. Full strength. And we didn't even need to parry it. Bro is this dodging. <laughs> Okay, 
もしかして俺も少しは強くなったのかとうぬぼって全身全霊全力の身体強化とし That's what it was, right? Breaking the ground with the movement by using physical enhancements and better step. That's the crazy cracks in the ground. Yep. <laughs> so dead! Gilbert! Gilbert! <laughs> Didn't even remember his name. Philbert next time. Fuck, I honestly, it's like pissing me off how dense he is. Like, god damn. I understand that because he's dense, we can have all these power fantasy moments happen without him even realizing he's doing it. But, like, holy fuck, it's actually kind of annoying. No! No, this blade. Like, imagine the lore, the legend associated with this blade. This legendary black blade from the king's chamber. The fact that they even made a relic as a copy because of how good it was. And now he's using it to scoop poop with it. The disrespect. <laughs> Look at that though. One scoop. It can cover the entire width of the aqueduct or whatever the fuck this thing is. So efficient. Also, I gotta go back. Some motherfuckers. Actually, this is not a sword. I'm a manga reader. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. What the sub say here? He said Ken, sword, blade, synonymous. You know what I'm saying. Shut the fuck up. You're what? Your poop pipes? We gotta go like everybody has their own poop pipes that we gotta go and fucking scoop. Don't you wanna be an adventurer, bro? What did you say? If work in the role of capital dries up, as in people stop pooping, then they're gonna always start pooping. He needs to... It, it's simple. Just party up with Lin, right? The problem with Efrang Adventure is not being able to go into dungeons is because no one will, like, pick them up, right? One way to get there is having members in the party that will just, like, kind of vouch for you. It just makes sense that we would party up with Lin and, you know, uh, Ines and maybe even Gilbert. He's thinking about... How to do everything except use this as a sword. Poop shovel. Or pizza spatula. What next? <laughs> Literally, you could just grill meat on it. Straight up. You could just fucking grill. You could cook on it too. Yeah, it's just that easy. I hope you clean this shit up after you, you know. Literally, I hope you clean this shit up. Literally. <laughs> Ines! Lin! How'd you find me? Lin Sama! Lin,さま! Is that an assistant? So you're a maid now. You want to be Nora's maid? The king's daughter is going to be Nora's maid? Okay. Apprentice. Okay. <laughs> Parried. Like, what's she gonna learn from us? Seriously. Like, we only know how to parry and some other really, mo like, light skills. She gonna just learn how to parry? Straight up? We're gonna spend another 14 years back in the forest swinging the fucking sword? Yeah. 
all six training schools. She got the highest marks. And the person that got the highest marks in all six training schools is now asking to be the apprentice of a guy who got rejected from all six training schools. Amazing. Perry, teach her how to parry, bro. Doesn't care. Parried. It's so simple, Nor. Just use her so that you can party up and go take on actual adventure quest. Come on, let's go. Oh. Amazing. Cool. Oh. Damn. Yo, she's flexing. <laughs> that CGI treat falling over is pretty funny. But okay, Lin is correct. I mean, we know that she's more than, you know, she can handle herself more than we, uh, she needs. But like, what's Nor gonna do? Like, I don't think... She realizes what she's signing up for because, like, we genuinely have nothing to teach her other than parrying. Thief class. Cool. Oh, so there's like other titles like Sovereign of Shadows. It's not just like Sovereign of Spear or Sword or Weapon. You can be like a sh Sovereign of Shadows. That's pretty cool. Can we be a Sovereign of Parries then? Is that even a thing? Parry of Sovereign of Counters. Sovereign of Poop Shoveling. The poop shoveler sovereign. Oh, oh. Sacred class skill. Well, like she just got everything. She 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 is straight up cracked at everything. What are we gonna teach her? Because you killed that Minotaur in one shot, bro. Yeah, Come on, bro. Just let her join the party. Show her how to parry right now. Let's see it. Okay, okay. You need more than that. Why do they keep doing this? I've noticed that every time he, he uses tiny flame, they don't show the flame. Every single time. They never showed it, and Lin just reacted like, that ain't no tiny flame. So, it's not just the parry. Even the level 1 super small, like, with weak skills that he thinks he has, are grown proficient enough to be like a gigantic flame right now, right? That's gotta be the meaning right now. They've been hiding this shit intentionally. <laughs> Looking like he summoned the sun or something. Did you see, Lin? <laughs> or, or maybe... It was just nothing. Maybe this is a look of... Wow, that shit actually mid. Could, could be that easy too. It, it genuinely could be that easy and we've never seen the flame because it's too tiny. It, it just could be just that easy. Especially with Lin just talking about the kid that got rejected from all six schools, you know, that's, that's Norse past. オートの妖精女で教官たちの口から語られるとある少年の逸話。あいつは教訓のために作られた。おとぎ話だと解釈した。仏像があまりに高等無形だったから。少年は若干12歳にして、どうして。それも満期までやり遂げたという。Yes, he did. He's a local legend? He, the, uh, uh, he, what Lin is saying right now is saying like the people here are like straight up inspired. Everyone interpret them as fairy tales, created to teach lessons. He's literally a local legend. I mean, it's, it's not a fake story, but it's like his life is now created into like a mythical legend almost, like a folklore to kind of inspire kids to like go learn at these schools. That's pretty cool, man. それも満期までやり遂げたという誰だってそう思う。屈強な戦士でも3日で値を上げるあの家庭を3ヶ月私もそう思っていた。あの人に出会うまでは出てもらったことがある。Tiny flame. 先生、面白いもの。Tiny flame. We see it. We see it. I'm watching it. 
Ooh. Okay, I think they're hinting that what Nor is using, the tiny flame. It's gigantic. That's gotta be what is going on, right? But can it get even bigger? Like, how much bigger can it get, right? Because, like, what we have are very simple, very basic skills. But the more that you vertically invest into these basic skills, the more you train them, the proficiency gets to a point where it just can become, like, gigantic, is what I'm... Hopefully is happening here with Noir. How big? Stop teasing! Okay. How big? Okay, okay, okay. Meaning the other skills that he also has, right? Like you know, you you saw physical enhancement and feather step. You saw the ground get cracked, right? Gilbert was like, "What's going on on the ground? What made that?" So everything he has has been trained to the utmost limits to the point these basic skills are pretty much as strong as advanced skills. <laughs> Monumentally powerful person. <laughs> She's respecting him so much, bro. She's like using advanced like hell flare and shit like that, but bro is still using like level one skills all day every day for the past 14 years and it's grown to a point where maybe it's even better in hellflare yeah then he paired with the broken sword yeah yes yep is Lin trying to bear an heir? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is Lin trying to be like North so strong? I need him in the royal family. She's not stealing North seed, okay? She's gonna learn. Damn, that's actually so cute. Look at this shit. Remember the lightsaber sword? The hilt is just strapped on like this. But there's no blade because there's like a magic blade. That's kind of cute though. There's like a little strap here for the lightsaber thing. ごちそうさま。よくわかりました。ん?己の満身。そして未熟さが来るまで。ずっとあなたの後ろをついて行かせていただきます。So hmm? <laughs> you're going to continue stalking when Nor does not want you. Nor sensei. Sensei? The fuck did I take you in? 私の追い求めた、期待求めた市場の強さが Is in this man. この人の中にあるのだから。どうなる? The level of misunderstanding and assumptions. Well, what Lin honestly just thought the entire time is not wrong, though. Everything that she said was very true. The fact that he went to every school and learned that shit and grinded those basic skills to the point where even Tiny Flame is greater than Oaken has ever created, you know, the magic teacher. So, you know what? It started off as a misunderstanding, which turned into like proper glazing, and now she's just gonna stalk him. <laughs> Isn't we're just gonna take her? I Perry taking on a page is today's title. And that's today's episode. The first half was pretty hype. Gilbert versus Nor. I feel kind of bad for Gilbert. Bro lived his entire life literally seeking out strong opponents just so that he could experience defeat. Everything is so boring. Everything is too easy. He became the Spear Sovereign, which is like the apex of all Spear users. Yet this random ass bumpkin that shows up that got rejected from every school and then went into a forest for 14 years. Just, just destroyed him without even trying. And like, he didn't even parry. He just dodged and dodged and dodged. Even his all-out attack. Gilbert specifically said, even if I was using a wingtip, you know, whatever practice spear it was, he went all out there and it was still not enough to even make Nor parry. It just goes to show how different in capability Nor is with other people. 
And then, other half of the episode was basically Lin trying to become Nora's page, which is an apprentice, someone that kind of sticks around like a psychic and learns from them, but Nora's like, nah, I parried that shit. I parried that shit. And then what did Lin do? She had a realization that, you know, Nora is godlike. And instead of asking to be a page, she's like, I'm just gonna stalk you more now. And until you take me in as a page, like, you can't do anything about it. I feel like the point of Lin will be just to, like, get into dungeons, high-level dungeons. It's because, like, Efrank, he can't do anything other than, like, shovel poop and do other, you know, layman jobs here. He wants to go into a dungeon. How does he get in there? We have Lin to smuggle us in. And next episode, maybe we're gonna get some dungeon action. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time... Take care.